Hello dear student, welcome back to the physics lecture. So in today's video, we will continue your geometrical part of the geometrical optics that for the BSc third semester. Okay, so in that we will see the smith helmholtz equation and Lagrange law. So this is derivation important for five. Okay, so see here. First of all, we will see the diagram. Okay, first of all, I will draw the diagram and after that we will explain all the term and after that we will derive the what this derivation. So see here. So this is what one plane or the principal axis. Okay, this is a spherical surface. So first we will touch this point. Okay, again we will take this and touch this and next what to do? We have to draw one more point and touch to this point. Okay. So see here, this is point M and this is A dash, B dash. This is what A, B, this is theta 1 and this is theta 2. This point is what C, this point is P and this distance is nothing but small u and this distance is nothing but small b. Okay. Next see here, this is what R and this is I. So see here, incident ray, refracted ray. Okay. So the direction of this ray is like this. So already we draw this diagram. So next see here in figure MPM they given in a textbook that MPM dash. So this is what MPA dash. So that is MPA dash not M dash. Okay. So see here be the spherical surface of radius of curvature R. So MPM dash in that what this is one spherical surface which having the what radius of curvature that is nothing but capital R. Okay. Next here AB be the object placed the perpendicular to the principal axis. So this straight line is nothing but what principal axis. So here see here AB. AB is what placed a perpendicular on the principal axis at a distance of u from the point P. So taken a distance of point P that is nothing but what u from the pole P. So here P is nothing but what pole. So see here next A dash B dash. So see here, here A dash B dash be the real and inverted image of an object formed at a distance of V that is not in textbook they given u but that is V. Okay. So this distance is what V from the spherical surface. Okay. From the spherical surface V. So got it. See here in a figure what M P A dash spherical surface. So this is what spherical surface which having the what radius of curvature capital R. Okay. So A B. A B be the what placed perpendicular to the principal axis from the pole point and that distance is nothing but u. So like that A dash B dash be the real and inverted image of an object from a distance of v. The spherical surface from the spherical surface got it. So next here theta 1 and theta 2. So theta 1 and theta 2 be the angle formed by the incident ray that is nothing but a m. So see here a m that is what incident ray. So by the incident ray what happened theta 1 will be formed. So see here next and the refracted ray. So what is the refracted ray? M a dash. 
so m a dash is bond refracted ray forming a angle theta 2 with the principal axis so this explanation of the bond this diagram okay this is the explanation of this diagram got it first of all we have to concentrate what m p a dash next which having the spherical surface having the radius of curvature capital r next i and r be the incident ray and the refracted ray next a dash b dash be the real or inverted image and the distance u as well as the v and theta 1 theta 2 be the what angle of incidence as well as the angle of refraction okay next year we have to find out the what angular magnification so angular magnification already they given then what alpha equal to tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 so next year from the triangle mpa so here triangle mpa okay we have to concentrate this triangle from the triangle mpa tan theta 1 equal to what mp divided by ap tan theta means mp divided by ap so that is what mp divided by ap is nothing but u okay so next here from the triangle mpa dash triangle mpa dash so again tan theta 1 equal to what mp divided by pa dash so again we know that pa dash is nothing but what v okay so we get the what tan theta 1 and tan theta 2 values so see here next what to do we have to substitute the theta 1 and theta value in a angular magnification so see here alpha equal to tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 so after substituting the value mp mp will get cancelled we get u by v okay so what we get we get the what see here we get the what angular magnification so see here next linear magnification already they given the linear magnification is equal to small m equal to h2 divided by h1 so that is nothing but what n1 n2 sorry n1 v divided by n2 u got it we already find the what angular magnification now we have to find the what linear magnification so linear magnification is what m equal to h2 by h1 equal to n1 v divided by n2 u so next here we have to just simplify the term after simplifying so see here we are taken h2 into u and h1 into v equal to n1 by n2 as it is so now in mada theory u h2 kade tago theory next in mada theory v h1 side tago theory next in bada theory h2 u divided by h1 v equal to n1 by n2 okay got it next so see here we know that u by v equal to tan theta 2 by tan theta 1 by the what angular magnification nam the angular magnification in e3 tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 equal to u by v3 Again, what do now? U by V le substitute mathuri. Okay, U by V le substitute mathuri. That is tan theta two divided by tan theta one. Okay, so we get this. So see here, already we written this is linear magnification into what angular magnification that is equal to what n one by n two. So next year we have to just simplify the term. So see here, n one h one tan theta one equal to n two h two tan theta two. So now simplification matter in three n one h one tan theta two tan theta one equal to n two h two tan theta two. So see here, this is known as the what Smith Helmholtz equation for a paraxial rays theta one and theta two are very small. Got it? So now we proved what the Smith Helmholtz equation. So again by the heading we have to form or we have to derive the Lagrangian law or the equation. So for this, we have to take tan theta one is equal to similarly equal to theta one like that the theta two. So we have to cancel here tan theta one, tan theta two, and take only theta one and theta two. So for tan theta one is equal to theta one and tan theta two equal to theta two. So that is what n one h one theta one equal to n two h two theta two. So this is known as what Lagrangian Lagrangian's law. Okay. In next class, we'll continue this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. I'm sorry. Pause, matter.